Christ shall be brought down from hell to the side of the pit. So we can see the root of selfishness is Lucifer. The Lucifer syndrome. And it is best illustrated as we close with two words. I will. You know what your will is, what you want. I want. I want. I want. What in the world makes another man say, I want another man's what? Number one, you're hurting the heart of God. Number two, you destroy the heart of your own life. Number three, you're going to wreck another family, another woman, her husband, another man, and if they're children, you're going to wreck them as well. All because you're so important now, you're so selfish, you're the only person who matters, you're willing to destroy other people just because I want. Just because I want. It's not even I have to. I need if I want. That is the Luciferian syndrome. I want. Doesn't matter how stupid it is, I want. Doesn't matter how destructive it is, I want. That is the first sign of an apostle. And as we will see as we continue looking at self. We will see how everything else comes out of it. Can you just one more, one more nugget? According to Ezekiel, the reason that Lucifer sinned, and it's called sin, because he missed the mark of God, iniquity was found in his heart because he was lifted up. He was pride. Lucifer, you ready for this? He was by God with that which reflected the glory of God. He was covered with precious jewels and diadems. So in the presence of God, think about God being this bright light. Every time it hit Lucifer, that same light would bounce off. And so Lucifer took a look at himself and said, Self, look at the glory. that was carrying Jesus and everybody was cheering on the uh, then in the the Jerusalem saying, hey, hey, they're cheering for me. Oh. <laughs> That's a dumb donkey, right? Satan's a dumb donkey. Yeah. He actually thought for a second, look at me, I will be like the most God. No, you won't. You're a created being. And so, be careful when you hear humans Talking word and Bible about how you're going to be like God. No, you're a son of God. You're a child of God. There is only one God, and while we aspire to have His attributes, nobody else will be like God.